conquest of space is worth the risk of life. Our God-given curiosity will force us to go there ourselves because in the final analysis, only man can fully evaluate the moon in terms understandable to other men. Colonel, at the risk of being gruesome, we've heard about the fire from everyone who was there. Everyone except the astronauts themselves, of course. Can you tell us what they went through? What it was like for them? I can only tell you what we know, or at least what we think we know. When it happened, they were just waiting for the test to resume. How are we going to get to the moon if we can't talk between three buildings? I can't hear a thing you're saying, Jesus Christ. I said, how are we going to get to the moon if we can't talk between two or three buildings? They wouldn't have seen the spark that started the fire because it was behind a panel door down below Gus's feet. Because of the oxygen, the spark was able to jump out to the nylon netting under the seats. Gus probably saw it first because it was closest to him. Fire! We got a fire in the cockpit! The procedure would have had Gus push down Ed's headrest so that Ed could start turning the latch on. took me a, a, a minute or more to tell you all that. In actuality, from the first mention of the fire to the rupture of the hull, only 15 seconds went by. Colonel, what caused the fire? I'm not talking about wires and oxygen. It seems that some people think that NASA pressured North America to meet unrealistic and arbitrary deadlines, and that in turn, North America allowed safety to be compromised. I won't deny that there's been pressure to meet deadlines, but safety has never been intentionally compromised. Then what caused the fire? A failure of imagination. We've always known there was the possibility of fire in a spacecraft. But the fear was always that it would happen in space when you're 180 miles from terra firma in the nearest fire station. That was the worry. No one ever imagined that it would happen on the ground. If anyone had thought of it, the test would have been classified as hazardous. But it wasn't. We, we just didn't think of it. Now, whose fault is that? Well, it's North Americans' fault. It's NASA's fault. It's the fault of every person who ever worked on Apollo. It's my fault. I didn't think the test was hazardous. No one did. I wish to God we had. 